I start to support uh, the violence bill. And I uh, have uh, a number of reasons why I do so, Mr. Speaker. First, Mr. Speaker, is that I've interacted really with a lot of people. And I agree with my colleagues that this is one of the most interrogated bills in the history of this country. This is the only bill, Mr. Speaker, whereby those old women in the villages, 78 years, old men, you go to the markets, to the streets, Kenyans are discussing finance bill. All social platforms. And therefore, Kenyans are informed of what is happening and what they expect out of this bill. The most fortunate thing is that, Mr. Speaker, they have several questions that they're asking. One of the questions is how did we get to where we are today? The other question they're asking, how do we get out of this situation? Mr. Speaker, when I look at the leadership of this house, both majority and minority, both sides are Simeo and Kenya Kwanza. They are all very experienced, and lucky enough, they were here even the previous parliament. When these questions are being asked, Kenyans are asking themselves, who was in the driving seat? Then, how did we get to these loans? How did we expect to pay these loans? And how do we have any now headroom, Mr. Speaker, for us even to afford to go and borrow more loans? The answer, we are trying to offer them. We are giving them illustrations also of a sick person. And this sick person will die, either you take care of them, or we make serious decisions to take a surgery. And therefore, Kenyans must agree to go through this painful surgery to enable us to get to the next level. We might have came in different boats, Mr. Speaker, but now we must pedal together or we sing together. Mr. Speaker, we have no other choice and we have to be very genuine to our, our people. Either we do politics, we continue politicking, or we look for a way to get Kenyans out of the deep hole. And there is no way we are going to attain that, Mr. Speaker, unless we are truthful to our people. Yes, Kenyans will expect us to oppose this bill. But if we oppose it, Mr. Speaker, how will we tell them? Uh, your time is up, Kinjuri. Umulher.